Right, um, my name's Guy Taylor, I'm here with a group of citizens from all over the United Kingdom, from various parts of the United Kingdom, and we've all come here today to discuss the issues that we've had with the court service, the police, the judiciary in general. We've all been had our homes stolen, we've had property stolen, we've had court cases where none of the documentation has been anywhere near correct, in fact it's been fraudulent, and fraudulently produced. We have evidence of everything that I'm saying. We have tried all remedy through the court service. We have tried remedy through the police. We have found no remedy because all the participants have been acting in conjunction with each other in wholesale domestic terrorism. They've been doing this against the public in general and committing perpetual crime, as far as we can see. We have therefore gone to the uh, MI5 Security Service Terrorism website and we've come across their definition of terrorism which is as follows terrorism presents a serious and sustained threat to the united kingdom and uk interests abroad terrorist groups seek to cause widespread disruption fear and intimidation <coughs> they use violence or the threat of violence as a means of publicizing their causes motivating those who might be sympathetic to them and intimidating those who do not sympathize they often aim to influence government government policies and they often reject existing democratic processes or even democracy itself as a means of achieving their objectives. Although there is no generally agreed definition of terrorism internationally, in the UK the Terrorism Act 2000 defines terrorism as the use of threats of action designed to influence the government or an international governmental organisation or to intimidate the public or a section of the public made for the purposes of advancing a political, religious, racial or ideological cause and it involves or causes the following serious violence against a person serious damage to a property a threat to a person's life a serious risk to the health and safety of the public or serious interference with or disruption to an electronic system Now we could go through each one of those independently serious violence against a person People have been thrown in the streets and left homeless. Okay. Serious damage to a property. Properties have been taken over and the property is damaged. A threat to a person's life. People have committed suicide, being put into situations where they're, they're unlawfully put into bankruptcy. A serious risk to the health and safety of the public, as what I've already said. Or the serious interference with or disruption to an electronic system. Well, we know and we have mountains of evidence that the electronic system used by the courts either isn't fit for purpose or is being completely misused by the judiciary by and the police unknowingly have, are being refused access to the files which contain the public's records and when we get the uh, records that should be public they contain no seals they contain nothing to support uh, they've gone through the public courts they've been dealt with in a private capacity in fact, horse trading is going on in this country with the uh, citizens of this public's property. And the courts are not operating in the public capacity, they're operating in a private capacity. So it's our intention now as a group to, we've all discussed it, is to ring MI5, the security service, based on what their website, and we'll see where we go from there, and uh, we'll get back to you. with a group of concerned citizens um, and we'd like to report uh, some uh, terrorist actions to you that have been ongoing against us as members of the public. Um, we could really do with someone coming around and talking to us. There's a group of us and uh, we, we've come from all over the UK. We're all victims of, of domestic terrorism and we need protection. So um, can someone come around and see us please? We've done, well, we've done that, and we've, we've done that on, on many occasions, all of this... Well, that is, that is the correct course of action. We 
can't. That is, it's criminal activity against and threats being meant against you and your friends or colleagues. Therefore, it is a police matter. So, again. It's terrorism. It's, well, it's terrorism. We're, we're being terrorists. Like, we've, re we've read your, uh, what you've written on your website, the uh, Security Service, Terrorism, MI5, the Security Service. Definition. And uh, I, I can give you the definition of it if you want. I, I mean, I suggest you, you don't... Do... Need to do that. I'm well, no. Well, no. So, so, so we're, we're telling you that we're victims of terrorism, and you're telling us that although you're MI5, you're not actually engaged in uh, investigating terrorism at, uh, at all. No, I'm not saying that at all. You're telling me that the threats are being made against you and you're being threatened. Therefore, that is a police matter. You need to go to your police station and report it to the local police. Right. Who, who am I speaking to, please? It doesn't matter who you're speaking to. I'm giving you the advice. Right. OK. 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 Carry on with the paedophilia. All right. Bye. Goodbye. So we've been told to come to the uh, police station to report the crime of terrorism. So we're here and we're about to go into the police station to report terrorism.